Hello ladies, this is Dr. Swanson, your instructor for the Master's Projects class. I do this a lot in some of my undergraduate classes. I shoot little videos to help kind of get students on track and understanding what's going on at the beginning of the semester, so I figured I might do it with you too. And as you can see, I dressed up for it. So um, I thought I'd talk a little bit about me and about the Projects class and kind of give you a little brief idea of what's, what's coming up. So um, first, about me. I've been in the department now 10 years. I'm starting my 10th year. I have been teaching 28 years. I've taught uh, public relations, journalism, communications, uh, video production, a lot of different places. I grew up in the San Fernando Valley and went to uh, undergraduate school at Eastern New Mexico University, got my master's degree there also, doctorate from Oklahoma State. Uh, I have taught around the country in various places. I was in New Mexico for a total of about 12 years. I was in Wisconsin for six years. I was in Oklahoma nine years. I've been here and there. Worked in the media for 12 years. Worked in radio. Worked in television. Uh, wrote for the wire services. Worked for newspapers. So I've done a lot of media stuff over the years. And um, I came back from Wisconsin to California back in 2006 and I was up at Cal Poly for four years where I taught public relations and oversaw their student-run public relations agency. And down here in the comm department I teach public relations and I oversee Practical Advantage Communications, which is our student-run advertising and public relations agency down at the Irvine campus, now known as Irvine Center. Uh, I was the interim department chair for almost a year, 2013-2014, and I was in the dean's office most recently as interim associate dean for 20 months. I took a sabbatical in fall of last year. and. Um, here I am, back teaching again. I taught in the spring, and here I am now teaching again. And this is my first time to teach the projects class, although it's not my first time uh, working with master's and doctoral students. I have been involved in many uh, thesis and projects of master's students over the years, and I'm right now sitting on a dissertation committee for one of our MA graduates who is finishing her PhD at Chapman University, and I am on her dissertation committee giving her some guidance as she finishes up her dissertation so um, done a lot of that I'll post a link to my research so you can see um, the kind of research I've done primarily I'm a qualitative researcher um, numbers kind of scare me a little bit <laughs> well I mean I can do spreadsheets and that but statistics kind of scares me a little bit and um, as a graduate student I took seven graduate level statistics courses seven of them and I didn't get any better. So I'm just not a stats guy, um, and that's okay. So anyway, the projects course, this is gonna be cool. Um, as I told you, I oversee Practical Advantage Communications, our student-run advertising and PR firm, and the projects or the campaigns that happen in the firm are very much like what you're going to do individually in this class. And so I've used the Practical Advantage templates as models for your proposal and your final project because what four or five students do in the agency as a team is something very similar to what you're going to do as an individual here in the projects class. Kind of think of this as you're going to be in consulting mode and you're going to be working with an organization and you're going to be consulting with them and you're going to be developing and then carrying out a plan to improve their communication. That's basically what you're trying to do. You're trying to move the needle. Now, with only one of you, you know, working as a consultant and a very limited time period to work, you know, what you can do is not this much, it's going to be this much. And that's okay, because I tell my undergraduates in the agency the same thing. We've got only a semester to work, we've got a limited amount of time, we can't do this much, we can only do this much, and it's going to be the same for you. So we will talk a lot about the consultation and about working with the client to come up with a reasonable plan of action. Now, your plan here is going to be very similar to the plans that are done in the agency in that you have to pay a lot of attention to the organizational factors involved, the context in which you're working. The comm theory is very important. I insist that any kind of project or campaign for a client be grounded in theory, so that'll be important for you. Um, lots of resources to back up what you're going to references to back up what you're going to do because we need to know that what you're doing you're doing because of a thoughtful creative strategic plan and not just because 
you had a gut hunch this seemed like the right thing to do so all of that structure part of this is really important and we will talk a lot about that so I think this is going to be a really good experience for you you're going to get hands-on work with a client in a consultative role you're going to end up with a project that's really sound from a theoretical uh, methodological standpoint and from a results standpoint it's really going to move the needle for that client and you're gonna end up with something that you feel really good about and something that you will look back on in, in years to come as a real high point of your of your experience as a graduate student so that's a little bit about me a little bit about this class a little bit about how I think about things about how we're gonna move forward we're not gonna meet in a classroom because it just seems silly for three of us to be meeting in a classroom uh, it just it's just not conducive for a good workspace um, on the on the nights that you'll do your proposal presentation and your final presentation um, I have reserved the Dean's conference room so that'll be a nice environment for that I think the rest of the time this semester let's just try to book the study rooms from the library I can't book them faculty members can't book them but students can book them two weeks in advance so we'll uh, we'll figure out where we're gonna meet the first night of the semester and then after that I'll get the two of you to alternately book the study rooms in the library the student study rooms so that we've got a place to meet and if, and if all else fails we could always meet at Starbucks or something we can't meet in my office because it's full of junk uh, <laughs> it's full of stuff that has to be taken down to the agency and stuff that we store in my office that we don't have space for at the agency so it's like my office is really crowded and there isn't a conference room other than the Dean's conference room available and I can get it on those two nights and so anyway we'll, we'll work it out we'll work it out um, we'll have plenty of a space to meet and talk and and this is going to be very much a one-to-one -one experience for you and for me I haven't even fully set up the titanium page obviously because I'm just gonna set it up as we go and I've got lots of resources based on all of my years of doing this uh, teaching and doing research I really enjoy doing research um, and so I've got lots of resources for you lots of campaign project type resources so We'll build the titanium site out as we go. You'll have the stuff you need as we go. Right now, if, you're, if you've looked at the syllabus and the calendar, you might look at the calendar and kind of go, ah, it's not, it's not going to be that bad. It's, 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 it's all going to work out. It's, it's all going to work out between now and the end of the semester, and you're going to have a project that you're, you're really um, happy about and, and happy to tell other people about after you graduate. So that's all i got to say for now. I look forward to seeing you on that first night of class, and I will be in communication with you on exactly where we're going to meet that night. Okay? Thanks a lot. See you later.